Hello and welcome to The Corrigans, a Thief 2 fan mission by Gertan, and a sequel to uh, Emily Victor, which was the sequel to La Sen. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read the text. Panic in the city! La Sen, master thief of this town who has defied Garage in the past, has escaped from prison. It's a really bad day to be a tapper. Patrols everywhere. Curfew at sunset. It's time to leave here and fast. La Sen has a quick and violent temper. The easiest way would be to flee by boat, but regrettably access to the port is closed because of the invasion of the Corrigans, who appear to have arrived by sea. The Corrigans. Everybody speaks about them, but few have actually seen them. What are they? Who are they? They leave only chaos and pain in their wake. Garrett has never met them and would like to keep it that way. All he wants is to get as far away as possible from this city, which has caused him so many problems. To leave as quickly as possible, yes, but not before raiding the warehouses of the lord of the city, Sir Delore, and helping himself to the riches inside which he learned of from Emily Victor in the previous mission. The key to Delore's personal warehouse on his belt, Garrett sets out. However, the booty which he will find there will be bulky and difficult to dispose of while maintaining his usual low profile. He's heard of a man called Berlioz, a fence, who lives in the northeast district of the city. You must go find him to get rid of this cumbersome booty. And if the last sand does not catch him in the meantime, maybe he will have time to make a short visit to Sir Ashley's. Presently, his mansion contains an impressive collection of precious mechanist objects, which includes the famous precursor mask of coal. And then, then it will be necessary to find a way to leave the city. And as if Providence has heard him, Garrett receives a visit from an old woman who gives him a strange message. Okay, do we have difficulties here? Well, let's see. Go to the warehouses and seize Delaray's goods, then sell them all to Perlios, the fence. It's getting too hot for you in town, so get out through the only available exit, the northern sewers. They're locked up tight, and apparently Berenice has the key, so you'd better look her up first. Ashley's Manor houses an important collection of precious items, which includes the famous mask of coal. Steal it. Optional. You've heard that La Seine keeps up a regular correspondence with the female owner of the Joyous Barrack Inn. Having a quick look at those letters would be very interesting indeed. Optional. Before departing, take the time to steal 2,500 gold. Or 3,500 gold on hard, or if we got an expert, 4,500 gold, and you're a master thief, not a common murderer, so don't kill anyone. Okay. I'm going to go on hard, just again, so that if push comes to shove and I need to do it, it's easier to kill the guard than anything else, I will kill a guard, uh, but otherwise, generally speaking, I will avoid it. Mysterious message, huh? Are you Berenice? Mr. Garrett, my name is Berenice. I'm here to help you. Even if my name doesn't mean anything to you, we are not strangers to each other. Indeed, in the past, you've had dealings with a person very close to me, my brother, La Sen. I found you by means of his spies, for he watches you, Garrett, and since his escape from the prison you threw him in some time ago, he's been very angry with you. I apologize for not coming in person to give you this message, but to tell the truth, I was a bit afraid of your reaction. That's why I sent my old servant, Marta. Aha, so that wasn't Berenice, so <laughs> Martha. It makes a little more sense. Despite the powerful stench of rum she exudes, she's a faithful employee and has never failed me. Please, don't flee from me. I do want to help you. I've heard whispers that you seek to leave this dreadful town for someplace else, preferably by sea. You're right, it is the safer way, but don't dawdle. La Sen knows where you have taken up residence, and if he hesitates to pay you a visit, it is only a matter of caution toward you, Garrett. He has posted many of his men in town who will take particular joy in piercing your belly if they see you. I would advise you strongly to be very suspicious of these snipers. They are silent and have a sharp eye. Back to our business. The port? Forget it, it's condemned by the police. I suppose you've heard of these nasty little creatures named Corrigans who have invaded the town? Some say they arrived secretly on a boat coming from the lands to the north. Because of their ugly crimes, they have become a true plague on the citizens, and even more so on the police who have quarantined the whole city, isolating it from any outside communication. The city guard intercepts anyone who has no special authorization to be out past curfew. The Corrigans have caused a lot of trouble and we don't know why they're here or what their motives are. And I personally don't care, except that this inconvenience will likely seal off the town access for a long time to come. That is why you need my help. I know a secret path through the northern sewers to access the port. A boat has berthed by now and it will leave in a few hours. A boat which will take you far away from here, if only you decide to trust me. 
However, do not think this day favour has been done out of the goodness of my heart. It is also a way to pay back my bastard of a brother. He wants to force me to marry a man I can't bear. He thinks to bind me to his most, fa most faithful lieutenant. May the seven plagues fall on his head of... <clears throat> Nevertheless, the failure and humiliation you make him suffer will prevent him from sleeping, and even if he tries to hide that from his men, it doesn't escape me. I know too well, my brother, that nasty little rat. You've dominated him, and that he can't tolerate. So I would like to help you and allow you to escape his wrath. Do not give him an opportunity to kill you by remaining in this town. Only I can help you with that. For my part, I want to get out of here, start a new life far from my brother and his marriage ambitions for me. So I'll go with you then, Garrett. You have no choice in that matter. The loophole, the loophole I offer you is at that cost. I'll give you the key to the gate opening onto the northern sewers which leads to the port, provided you pave the way to our escape. Indeed, some doors need to be lockpicked, and I can't cope with this job, of course. I've heard of your outstanding skills at this sort of thing, and I trust you. The last send has done too much evil to both of us. It's time for him to pay. Meet me in the western sewer tunnels which underlie the city. I know it is not a very clean place to use as a rendezvous point, but we hide where we can. The entrance is not very far from your home. And above all, don't slip away. I wait for you. Bernice. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Ah, Martha, very reliable at delivering messages. Not so reliable at staying away from the bottle. Alright. Uh three water arrows. One rope. Five broadheads. Blackjack and sword. That's good equipment. We have the key to the warehouses that we got from Delaray in last mission, uh, in um, Emily Victor. Though, I could have sworn it was gold in that one and it's silver now. Maybe that's just the lighting. Um, Lockpicks, compass, nothing else special, I don't imagine. <laughs> Very reliable at staying away from uh, uh, delivering letters. But sometimes takes unexpected naps. Fair enough. I often need unexpected naps, so not for not for passing out from alcohol reasons. Okay, do we have a map? Yes, excellent. Um, very basic map, but you know, maps are great. I like maps. So what? Are, with all that reading, I forgot what we're doing. Go to the warehouse and get the stuff. Sell them to the fence. Okay. The warehouse is just kind of north of where we are. The fence is in the uh, eastern district. Okay. Lead through the northern sewers. I have to get the key from Berenice. Okay. Uh, that's kind of going to be the last thing we do. Steal the Mask of Co. Which unfortunately doesn't tell me anymore where it is, but that's Ashley's got that. So that's pretty close, I think. Probably the apothecary for stealing supplies in Ashley's residence is probably where I want to go first. And the get your hands on last hands correspondence at the Joyous Burrick, which is also in the Eastern District. Who's Gulliver? It's a Gulliver's Mansion. Wait, oh, was it Gulliver that had the mask? Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, so that's. It's on the map. What's this? Oh, okay, it just comes out on the same street. Wanted. That's in. Reward 2000. That's honestly not very much. I mean, what's my loot gold? 35? 3500. Maybe I can get uh, just. Take deliver him to the police and get most of my uh, blue gold that way. What about that one? Wanted. Corrigans. Die. No amount of money is enough. To all citizens. Following the invasion of the Corrigans, which has infested our beautiful city, a curfew has been established beginning at sunset for all inhabitants, except for those possessing a pass. Anyone caught out beyond this hour without a pass will be immediately brought up to the security post for interrogation. Take note that the guard has been heavily reinforced in all strategic areas of the town. The city guard. Wanted a man uh, by the name of Garrett. Description tall, brown hair, wearing dark clothes. No portrait available at this time. Be careful, he's armed. Wanted for disturbing the town's security and peace. 1,000 gold will be delivered to any person able to bring us reliable information about this individual. 
1,000 gold, huh? Hmm, so if I deliver them last hand and then give them some reliable information about myself, that's my loot goal almost done. Uh, yeah, description see portrait, charged with various thefts and holdups, kidnapping, blackmail, murder, disturbance of the peace at night, scandals in public? Oh dear. Uh, 2,000 gold will be delivered to any person able to bring us reliable information about this individual. Scandals in public. Sounds like he's a French villain. Sir, was that you? Wow, you've got eyes in the back of your head. That's alarm, I guess. Police report, Sergeant Jeffs, 1010. A constant rise of the crime rate has been observed in town for the last few days. If those damn Corrigans keep on as they are, we'll be forced to recruit civilians. Our troops are no longer enough to assure a sufficient level of security. They struck again in the eastern city. Several people have been found murdered. Damn, what do they want? Impossible to put our hands on. They vanish as if by magic. And they are so quick. We've had reports that several people have disappeared from their homes. Kidnapped or killed. Why would they have any interest in kidnapping people? But don't worry, Captain. I will investigate. 11.10. Blessed Mother of the Creator. As if we hadn't enough problems already, a message from Delaray has come. One of his prisoners has escaped. I'll let you guess which one. La Seine, that bastard thief. Well, I didn't let you guess. I told you the answer right away. Well, as I'm concerned about your good spirits, I'll try to brighten things up with the sad news. We found a new patsy to provide us with entertainment! Ha <laughs> ha, you remember the new little rookie, Commandant Fisher's nephew? My guys and I think it is important for our sanity to relax a little. So we got the boy, just to make him understand how happy we were to know he was here, and we took very good care of him. Indeed, he cried a little at the beginning, but he understood quickly he had no choice, and he played the game. It was very funny. <laughs> so as you follow the streets, if your path crosses those of a kind of big aisles, pineapple on legs with a nice flowery hat, don't worry. Pity him, don't draw your sword. You can cripple a poor sucker. Ha <laughs> ha! Sergeant Goldman. <clears throat> ah, having a fun at the expense of the uh, new recruits, huh? Nice guys. Alright. Hello? Show yourself. Hello. Hello. Let us continue westward. Yeah. There's a sewer entrance we've got here. Sorry, I moved the mouse too much and got turned around too much. I meant here. Just a house, somebody sleeping inside, sounds perfect for my needs. You have a rope arrow, sir. It's normally only thieves. Maybe you're a steeplejack. Banner must die. Okay. I shall not disturb your sleep any longer. Oh, it's hard to see anything in this staircase. Okay. Oh, there's an upper floor there. You know what? Let's. Let's take a look there in a minute. Let's uh, check out what we've got here. Yes, this is the apothecary. Yeah, there was that note about sniper warning about snipers, wasn't there? I only had noticed him, heard him, because I heard footsteps clocking on metal. Okay, so be warned. Pay attention to the upper floor, upper levels. Q. 
Keep an eye on the rooftop skirts. Don't get sniped from afar. Hang on, it's just, uh, was that, was that in the, was it Bernice walking, walking about, warning us about that? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Larsen posted many of his men in town to a particular drawing piss in your belly. It's, these snipers are silent and have a sharp eye. Right, these are Larsen's men. So it's a matter of professional pride to defeat them then, I suppose. Somebody's asleep in here and they've got a noisy floor. Not the best combination for me. So we go slowly, try to avoid making noise. Uh, dude, your skull is on fire. Is, is that okay? Is that to the way it's meant to be? Do you keep any money behind the counter? No. Keep a fish. Fair enough. Shrine to uh, strange gods. More importantly, they have a banner that needs to die. Okay. Well, I think we shall uh, leave this one alone. Someone there? Help! Help! Hurry! Over here! <clears throat> Sorry for waking you. It wasn't my intention. You'll sleep more soundly now. You, so, a straight footstep working, then probably that would have woken him up too. What does that? What does that happen? Something downstairs, maybe? Thing in here. Something in here. No. Leave the door open for the sake of the sound. Oh. A little bit open, because otherwise it stops me getting uh, up this ladder. <sighs> Can't hear a door at all. This is found secret, but it's... nothing's happened. Uh, hmm. Unless it's his bed trying to move and he's in the way. Oh, very faintly out of my left ear. Yeah, okay, it's not the bed. It is something very faint. Alright, I'm going to pull a lever and then rush down the ladder. Maybe it's just thunder rumbling I'm hearing? Ah ha 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 ha, okay. That's what a slow pull potion and a health potion. Right, there was this moving out, moving aside, but uh, it's not very obvious. Okay. It's a little, a little, you know, Okay. 
maybe a bit backwards for the lever to say found secret when uh, I haven't found the secret yet. I still have to spend time hunting for where the secret actually is. Uh, but never mind. Okay, so it's not just guards on the street we've got to watch out for. We've got to watch out for guys like that who just saw me again. All right. Let's go up here. Wow, I didn't expect you to be able to shoot me from there. I thought it'd be too close. Oh, I could have just come up the ladder. Sure. Got a couple of free broadheads. Alright. Okay, that place is guarded. Is that on the map? That's Ashley's. That's Ashley's. Okay, we do want to go there. How do we get in there without the guard spotting us? He's kind of seem to be any other entrances. We'll do our way to the sewers from here. Is that on the map? Yes. Great exhibition tonight in the collections room of Ashley House. So Ashley is most honoured to present to you works of art unequalled in the world. Lent to our beautiful city by our friends, the mechanists, who have, with great kindness, decided to entrust part of their extraordinary collection to us. You'll be able to contemplate, among others, the famous Mask of Coal. There will be drinks served at the private viewing, so do come along. Okay. I hate creepy noises. It is very bright. It seems brighter on this side than that side. What do I do about him? I don't know. I don't have any flash bombs, right? I mean, I could lead him here and do a run around. The question is, can I get by without him noticing me? I don't think so. Maybe if I leap onto a moss. I'll try the other side. What's going on here? Garrett. I'll find you. I'll find you. Well, if he comes out here, that'll give me the opportunity I need anyway, so. I guess that works. Quit tapping with me, guys. Yeah, so this is the, the less acrobatic way. <clears throat> Much simpler this way, I suppose. Alright, have to access here. I had that <clears throat> enough. Sleep, my pretty. This is the same message, right? No, actually, residents. That's a short message, okay. I was planning to climb up there and then throw a moss down here and leap onto the moss from there and hope to not be seen by him because it's. It definitely seems brighter. It's definitely brighter on this side. Uh, maybe that would have worked. More guards? Do you just stand there all day? Or maybe we're gonna have to find another way in. Uh, yeah, you do just stand there all day, don't you? 
I'm gonna try the same thing again. Oh, he's got uh, mechanist servants as well. I guess he did say something about the mechanists there. Keep searching. She's there for a second. More banners. Okay. <laughs> Just thinking about how I could get up there. Certainly with one crate I could manage to get up there, but they would be shooting arrows at me the whole time. Well, one problem at a time. Oh, shit. They have a way down? God. They damn near killed me. Well, there's the crate. I'm gonna need to hit them on the head, that's for sure. Where's that uh, healing potion I picked up? <laughs> Maybe they just fell. Uh. No. This is not right. <laughs> Sees me even when I'm in shadow, okay. Say fuck the black deck, because black deck doesn't work on them. Where's he facing? Away. Okay, he seems to have kind of calmed down. Yeah, I think he fell off the top. Cause... Question is, is he going to see me the moment I come up behind him? No, okay. Black Deck does work on him. Just have to wait for him not to be alerted. Okay, you know what? I need to deliver you to the cops, don't I? Just to rub it in. Uh, uh, uh. 
Sir, was that you? Mm. <clears throat> no, Will. Guess it was nothing. Okay. Good news is, I can now do what I've planned to do with this banner. Now, him shooting me in the back. Not that there's any particular need to do so, but you know, it feels, feels important. It's, it's the crusade against banners. It's holy and not to be maligned. Now we have a crate in here, let's try getting up here. Uh, the crate's gonna make that harder actually. We don't need the crate. Oof. Certainly a metal walkway. Oh, I could have just ripped up to the top of course. Okay. Any other places this vantage point will let us get to? No. Alright. So I guess I'm going to need a rope to get down safely as well. Placed. Okay, all right. Uh, the healing potion didn't do enough. Let's see that counts. One hit point. All right. So it's just a guard post again. Okay. Uh. Right. What was I doing? I was. I was gonna. Sneak back in here with the servant. I don't think it's fair to the servants to leave them sitting outside in the cold. Uh. Well, that does, of course, mean I need to find a, a place in here to leave them safely. Attending the kitchen. Good, good. We'll just uh, leave him in this corner, I think. Okay. Moss. If you've got moss growing in your kitchen, you probably need to clean a little more. Or at least heat it a little more. I mean, they're heating it. Let's see what was on that shelf. <sighs> Here I am making tons of noise and no one's noticing, so I guess the good news is that nobody noticed. Bad news is, I'm still clumping around like a tap dancer. Oh my god. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Carpet, beautiful. These rich people just leave their valuables lying around. It's just they've never even heard of the concept of thieves. No, oh, the insurance will pay for it. That's probably what they think. Uh, 
Oh, this is another bedroom. This is the same corridor, right? Yeah, so that's the door I came in. Okay. So that's cool. Let's keep going around this way then. Camera I'm hearing. It definitely is a camera I'm hearing, but it doesn't appear to be in this room. Collections room, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's the mask. The mask of coal. It looks like the mask we had in we found in um Emily Victor's world. High voltage, huh. Is this not uh is this just a wall? Right, that's just a wall. I don't know, I wonder if maybe uh shorting this out might do something. Beautiful. Just a quiet subbo thrown in the works there. Hmm. Just made it. Up and pick those on this. Not much carpet here. I will do our usual tiptoeing then. I can hear people in the next room, so if I start making noise, they will probably hear me. Well, I've got to say, it is a little unnerving with the camera just staring at me and still with it all lit up. And not take that? Oh, I have to lean in really close, okay. A mask. But this is one I need. The mask of coal. Co or or capostrophe ho. Capostrophe ho, that's the right pronunciation, I'm sure of it. I like that it's got a stack count of one. One mask of coal. You could have 300. Unfortunately, my business here is not done yet. In this room. Yeah, that must have was kind of a waste. I kind of would want it here, but oh, I have other things I need to attend to. Thank you, Karis. For your portrait. Still standing on that? I was. Okay, I think that's the same room as we saw from the hallway, but the hallway was dark.
Yeah. If I want to scout that room, this is definitely a better vantage point. Ah. Set by the torch going out. I made that noise. Not one little bit. Hmm. Odd. Art thou there? Why is it so bright? Oh, it's bloody... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Still get me here. Okay. Us. Yeah. I am besieged. For Carus and the Builder. There's a light switch. Where's thy metal? Ah! <sighs> well, he was having fun. Okay. There was a, so there's, despite it being seeming to be quite dark in the middle, it's actually very well illuminated by all the other lights. Is there a light switch in this room? There was one in the entrance I just saw. No. Yeah, these lights are casting their rays a very long distance. There's someone there. What's this? Hmm. This isn't oh. right. Well, that's actually a good question is... Well, let's put the gas torches out anyway. Let's go back to the entrance. See if maybe that light switch affects that room as well. Its placement doesn't suggest that it would, but uh Let us see. No. But if I also put out the fire, can I reach the fire from here? Hmm. No, it's still too bright, isn't it? Alright, let's take this slow then. I hate listening to this. <laughs> the servants. This guy without being spotted. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe nobody else is going to spot me at the table. That, that one was really close to it. 
You should look at my light, Jim. <coughs> Going bright, yeah. <clears throat> Must have been rats. How impulsive. If it was a boiler, then it need be serviced anon, for it should not ping so. Who's there? Who goes there? <coughs> Paris, you <coughs> mind. It was nothing after all. <coughs> <coughs> we might get away with this. No, it's quiet now. Quiet once more. Builder, if I see one rat, I would just scream. Oh, suddenly dark. <laughs> okay, the table is clear. The lighting is weird. The fireplace has a secret passage. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna have to go all the way around to that door and then I can probably sneak What's in. What noise there? Speak. Softly calm. Mm -hmm. Better breeze Why and nothing more. Elsewhere. If I go around to that far door, then I should be able to sneak in, hopefully, without being spotted. Maybe. Good. I had not Quiet wanted to be more. disturbed. <laughs> right, well, you'll be fine now. Okay. Stay quiet. Yeah, there's two doors between us, so they're not going to hear me clonking across those... those uh, tiles. Although it's quite bright on this side, isn't it? Hmm, am I just going to get seen as I go in? Maybe not if I rush it. I'm gonna rush it, I'm gonna need the moss. Come, come. Ah! He's over here! There's a secret door. Yep, it's a secret door. I want to smash! Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Uh that's maybe I'll wait to see if I can find a get a flash bomb. If I can get a flash bomb and come back. No problem. Just flash, flash bomb them, hit all the hit them on the head, or at least all the dangerous ones, and the civilians afterwards. Yeah, let's let's maybe make a note. In fireplace. So long, Ash. Okay, now what are we doing? We've got the mask co. We need to get to the warehouse, I guess, is the next. Yeah. Just keep going around, it seems. Ah, guard post. Stay low, stay quiet. There are street patrols. Street patrols with money on their belts. Okay, so good news and bad news. Bad news is, in the right hand, they have a big sword. And good news is, on the left hip, they have a big purse. I hope it's big anyway. What have I got? How much money have I got? 11.40, wow, okay. 
more than I was expecting oh, by this point. He's also got a hole in his head above his helmet. It's 100 gold, that's nice. Where does he go? out of my way and that one's going away so let's make a move shit guards everywhere these, I think. So that I've got at least a dark spot to scout from. That's the warehouse, it's alright, but... Are they just patrolling back and forth in front of it? Ah, oh dear. I mean, a frontal approach is not going to work. Yes, they're just going back and forth in front of it. Hmm. So, I'm, what looks like an older entrance. Just it's all bricked up, wasn't it? Okay, there's somebody around to my left as well. Two people. So, you're not the same guard that went round the far left. Nor are you. That. Oh, hang on. What? How come there's a bazillion guards on the streets already? It was deserted a minute ago. All the guards all at once. Great. Here I've got myself in a corner. Dear, all right. Guards. What do you mean? This is more like what the map should say, right? This is guards in that one place. Maybe the hotel doesn't have any guards, I don't know. Certainly lots of guards out <laughs> And all around. Is the hotel neutral territory? I mean, it is only supposed to be the guards. They're upset with me. Hello, sir. Fine night. Um, would you mind looking the other way as I... Thank you. Can't take the keys. Okay. Well, relative safety. Neutral territory. Carrots. Beautiful. Oh, they've got a cellar. Civilian, okay. Phew. Let's check out the cellar afterwards. Take a look upstairs. See if any of the patrons of this hotel. Ah, that gives me vantage. Vantage point to oversee the uh, warehouse. Not oh, really empty. Room? Do they not have any people staying here? Look, 
I don't know what the hospitality laws are like where you, you know, in this town, but where I'm from, it's it's legally required for every hotel to have patrons asleep with money by their huh? beds. Anybody there? Hmm. He's face down on the bed, but doesn't seem to be asleep. At least he does do the money. He bites by the money by the bedroll, so that's good news. Does he have anything on his belt? No. Okay. What about you? You're snoring, is it? Nothing on your belt. Oh, does this, this window does open. Okay, that's interesting. Do these other rooms have windows? Is I just not, not paying attention? No windows in that one. Or that one. This guy's got a window, okay. Yes, this is the corner. This is around the corner from the hotel. Well, this window isn't going to get me any, any good. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, this is so. There's a window here, right? Let's make a, a note. W. way across there. Let's go check out the basement now because it looked bright and noisy. And if it's bright I could be visible to the warehouse guards or the more snipers. I don't know if there's more snipers. I forgot about them until just, <laughs> just as I was saying that. What do you keep in your hotel basement? Money? Please tell me it's money. Sewer access. Huh. Well, let's just go around to the west or further east. Alright, let's go west because that's kind of territory we've already explored. Hello. There's a fire there. Is there anybody here? Seem like there's anybody to hear me. Somebody was staying here. Moss Arrow is lovely. Al Cap has come back. If I was not an atheist, I would say, God bless your creator. I'm so happy. While he was gone, everybody did whatever they wanted without any limits. A couple more months of that, and everybody would be in for a long stretch of jail time in the security quarter. Now it's over. Our cap is with us and life has become so sweet. Last saying, what a great man. He's shown us again that he's the right man for difficult times. As in this bloody fight against the garret. While our cap was playing with his tapper, this garret flew into a temper and made fun of Larsen. But he snapped back to reality when Larsen defeated him down without any weapon in the Desherry manner. Garret was begging Larsen. Do you hear this old chaps? He was begging Larsen, crying for his life. It was so pathetic, you know. And then Larsen made a terrible error. He left Garrett alive. This coward attacked Larsen when he turned his back and hit him with a blackjack. And thus Larsen was locked up in the security headquarters jail. After that, we lost all hope. But our cap is a tricky man. He has to be transferred into the personal jail of Lord Deloray, because everyone knows that Louison, his girlfriend, works for Sir Deloray. With such an accomplice, Larsen could escape from the jail. I like listening to our cap telling us this story again and again. I never tire of it. But our cap has changed. He's morose and nervous. He's so irascible too. Something else strange is that he doesn't speak about Louison, his girlfriend. He doesn't speak at all. Nobody knows what happened to his mind. 
He doesn't speak at all, except for telling us the story over and over again. Uh, sometimes he sits for hours looking at nothing with the jaws clenched tight. He doesn't trust anybody, not even his best friend, Labourique. His look is one of a man obsessed by something or by somebody. Maybe he was more weakened by his stay in Delores jail than he admits. By the way, whatever happened to this garret? You are a bastard. There's a ladder in here. Oh, there's something else in here too. Lovely. Lovely. Any more? Alright, where's that ladder? Beautiful. Who knew a visit to the sewers would be so full of lucre? That's why it's called lucrative. Lucre. Sounds like a French word, doesn't it? Lucre. Lucre? Uh, French is hard to pronounce. Hello. Oh, is this a sewer grate we could have come in by? Yes. Alright. Good night. See the connections lining up. Okay, there was that port colour that was probable, which is a little always seems a little strange. That would be a big gate that just you just push aside, but we have enough. Anything in this water? Does not appear to be so. Oops. <laughs> Falling in wasn't my plan. So where does this go? Hello? Hello? Something worse. This is your fireplace secret passage. Okay. Well, I'm glad it came the other way because I think this would be harder to get through from this side. Anything else now? Alright. Cool. Loose ends sorted. Uh, don't need that flash bomb after all. Secret passage just takes me to the sewers. And we know what the sewers have. Shit and lots of it. And also Garrett coming silently the other way. Okay, that's good. That's good. Maybe we should continue in the sewers to get to the eastern part of town because there seems to be a lot fewer guards in the sewers. Dead end. Okay. Stop me every every now and again to listen. Listen for sounds of other creatures who should not be down here. We might. See me or worse. Okay, nothing. Any any valuables in here? You never know what, what gets accidentally dropped into the sewers. Nothing. Bodies? Bodies on the table, bodies on the chandelier? Well, something went down. Ah. I think we need to be careful going to this next part. So, um... Guess we'll do that next episode. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you then.